All right, so I am inside a new uh, directory, I'm a new project. So it calls uh, our native zero one. And of course, all of these projects are going to go to you so you can compare code. So this is the first one, right? So I'm going to open the terminal and I'm going to go here and I'm going to do CD dot dot and I'm going to go to the parent directory of this our native zero one, right? If I do LS, I can see my expo test. It's a previous project and our native. All right. So now, of course, we need to start an application, not with Expo. And again, if we go to the documentation, we can see that we have the quick start Expo and build the projects with native code. I'm on Mac, I'm going to go Mac. And for Windows and uh, Mac, you, we have some different instructions. When, but when we get there, just going to tell you what to do on Mac and Windows. So we've already did this. Uh, what we need to do now, and let me just find it, is create a new application. We're gonna need, we're gonna need to do some of this in a couple of minutes, but I, I'm just gonna let you know what we need to do. Don't worry. So uh, since we have the native CLI installed, we need to do React Native and the name of the project. That's the only thing we need to do. So I'm gonna do React Native. You will need to do the same thing in it, and then the name of the project. Mine, it's our native zero one. Oh, zero one. Since I've already have this project, right? The, the name of that directory on this uh, working directory, I'm gonna press enter and it says, you know, that directory already exist. exist. Uh, do you want to continue? Yeah, I would just, you know, put the files inside of there. And then of course, it's gonna go and put the, whatever uh, logic we need to uh, put, you know, it, it's gonna put all the files in there. All right, a lot of talking talking and doing this it's you know, it just kills your mind all right so I'm gonna wait until this is done it's gonna take a couple seconds and I'll be right back okay so everything got installed so notice that the uh, structure of the directory is a little bit different right so uh, uh, at the end when everything it gets installed we get run up iOS and they give you the commands uh, to run a native uh, you know, application in your I iOS simulator, and then you get Android. Now, before doing this, it says have an Android emulator running. So the thing is that before you can do this, you need to open the simul the emu emulator. With Mac, with iOS, you don't need to do that. You just run the command, and it will open automatically. Now we need to open the Android device. So for that. We need Android Studio, and just let, let me tell you right now, because maybe you're watching this and uh, you need to go to a different place in five minutes. Uh, this is going to take time. It's going to take like a, an hour, depending on your connection and your computer, because of course we need to download more things. I'm sorry, yeah, but yeah, we need to download more things. So I'm going to go and find the Android Studio uh, right here. I'm going to press Enter, and let's give it a minute. All right, almost there. So sometimes it, it takes a while and you know, and this is a fast computer. So, and it's taking, all right, I got it. I get it right here on a different screen. Let me just uh, one second. Let me just show you. And okay. So uh, once you open everything, you're going to get this screen. Now, instead of starting your application and anything else, we want to open an existing Android studio project. And this is because uh, we are doing React Native. So uh, React Native gives you a default application inside the Android directory and inside the iOS, they give you an iOS directory. Of course, everything is bare naked, but this is a working application for Android or iOS. So instead of just creating a new one, we want to open an existing Android Studio project. Now I'm gonna go to my document. I'm gonna go to React Native. I'm gonna go to Projects. And uh, right here, we I want to access our native. Now, if you open this directory, the uh, parent directory, it will open the whole project and we don't need to do that. We want to open only the Android. So I'm gonna open. And of course, this is gonna open. Let me just show you right here. And of course, uh, I'm gonna just close. Now, as soon as you open your directory, your your project, it's gonna start syncing, or yeah, it's gonna start doing all the uh, the sync and everything that it's gonna bring the files, read your project, and check if you need something. And in this case, this is happening. Uh, it says that there is a plugin update. 
Now, when you uh, install the application in your, uh, of course, uh, in your directory, uh, this has a version of all the packages that we are using. Now, it tells me right now that we have an update and you should upgrade. The problem is that right now, today, you know, this date, uh, if I do the update, uh, it will create some problems with the uh, plugins and everything else. So nothing is going to really work. So in my case, uh, or maybe it's your case because you're watching this, uh, maybe on this date or maybe uh, in, in a month or something like that. But maybe you're watching this uh, course in I don't know, six months and everything is going to be up to date in your uh, React Native project. So maybe you don't get this. But, you know, for now, I'm just going to say don't remind me again for this project because we don't want to update. If you update, it's going to fail. Now, again, if you're watching this, uh, this current date, you're going to get something like this. The build tools to uh, 2802 is ignored and 2803 will be used. And that is OK. We're going to this is a warning. It's not an error. So that's OK. We don't need to remove the build tools and sync project. It's going to do it for us, right? That's okay. You just, you know, let it be. Okay. So now we need to do a couple more things before we can run the simulator. I've uh, already, uh, I have uh, everything installed in my application, but if you're running this for uh, uh, the, the uh, this uh, Android Studio for the first time, you're gonna get some problems because you need to install more tools. I've already installed everything in this case because this is gonna take some time. And right now I'm filming on a place where I don't have a lot of connection. So yeah, I did it uh, in my home. I have a pretty large, you know, good connection. So if we go to the documentation, uh, we're gonna go uh, here, all right? We download, we go at the bottom and it's right here, this section. It says, the SDK manager can also be found with Under Studio preferences. So we need to check that we have this installed. So how do we do it? Well, I'm gonna go here and I'm going to go to Android Studio and then Preferences. OK, so once you go here, uh, we need to go to System Settings, Android SDK. And the first thing we need to check is the SDK platforms. So it says right here, make sure that the Android SDK platform 28 is selected. So if we, uh, you know, just check it, I'm going to go right here, Android. That's what we need to do. Sorry for that. I just forgot that step. You need to select Android 9.0 uh, Pi in this case and show package details. So when you go right there, you're going to see Android SDK Platform 28. I'm pretty sure with that uh, with all the installation we did, you've already have it, right? I'm pretty sure of that. Then And then it says, make sure you have Intel 86, Atom 64 or Google API. It says or, but we need both. And I believe that's a typo. So if you go to your computer, I'm pretty sure that you will get the Google APIs 86 checked, but you will not uh, have the Intel 86 Atom. So you will need to check on that to you know, click it, right? And then select uh, apply. And this is gonna take you to the next screen, which is gonna say license agreement and everything else. And it's like, uh, I believe it's two gigabytes of information. So it's, it is gonna take a while and you will need to download it. All right. Of course, you will need to pause the video, download, and then move forward on this section. Now, then we need uh, we need more things. So let me just uh, try to find the documentation. I'm not really finding. Next, uh, it says next, select, select SDK tools. Notice we are not on the SDK tools. We are on SDK platforms. So they made it really difficult uh, to read because this is very small and you will need, I would like, you know, a, an image maybe here. So if we go to SDK tools, it says uh, the, the box to show package details, you know, we got this and it says Android SDK build tool. So if we go here and we say Android SDK build tools and we show the package, it says, make sure that you have the 2803. And if we go down, we should be getting this. If you don't have it, you need to click on it and do the same thing, apply, and then it will go and download. So once uh, you download uh, the Intel 86 and uh, the other one, the 2803, if you don't have it, we are kind of uh, ready 
kind of ready. So I'm going to go and click OK. Now, the next thing is just, you know, open the simulator. I'm going to open the simulator. And this is one I get. I'm going to create a new one because uh, I've already did this on my computer. I'm going to create a new virtual device and you will need to do it. Of course, you can select pretty much uh, whatever you want right here. I'm going to select Nexus uh, X, uh, 5X. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to click next. And then it, you will give, uh, you're going to get uh, different options. I do, actually don't have it for this one and I don't want to download it. Uh, I've used a Nexus 6 for my phone. So I'm going to use Nexus 6. So once you get it, you open, you select your simulation, your uh, Android uh, emulator. Uh, you're going to get, you know, release name and everything else. Now, if you never did this, uh, you're going to get the download besides the uh, version of what we want to run, which is Pi. If you don't have it, right, you will need to download. If you want to run this simulator, the, the Nexus 6. Now, uh, of course, you will need to download and you will need to download more things again. Sorry for that. We need to do it. So if this is the case, right, I'm going to, after you download everything, of course, you just need to select Pi. You just move forward to next. And right here, it gives you, you know, the, the ability to change the name. So you click on, you, you change the name and then you click on finish and you have your new simulator. Now you could use this one, but you need to make sure that you have the API 28 or whatever the documentation it's telling you, right? Right here, we have the 28. Maybe you were, you're watching this in a, I don't know, six months and you're going to get the 30, for example. So if you want to run this, uh, I'm going to edit. Of course, uh, you're going to be able to run it, right? So you just click on play and it's going to run it. I'm going to run this one, which is my phone. I'm going to click. And this is going to, you know, open the simulator. Let me just one second. Let me just show it to you. I have it on the other screen. I'm going to go right here and here you get the emulator. Now, again, if you have a slow computer, this is going to take a while. All right. And we are pretty much, uh, we are pretty much ready. Once you get the emulator working with the 28 and the Pi and everything else, we can run the, uh, you know, a simulation on our application. But before we can do that, we need to do something else. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for that. We need to go here and this depends on which uh, computer you're running. Right now I'm on the Mac documentation. Let me just show you a Mac and then Android. So if you go right here at the bottom, it says add the following lines to your home dot bash profile. Now you will need to add this to your bash profile. If you of course have experience with the terminal in the, in Mac, you just need to add this. If you don't have much of experience, I'm just going to show you how to do it. What you need to do, you need to do nano dot bash underscore profile. Now, once you uh, uh, press enter, uh, it's going to show you something, you know, pretty uh, blank. Uh, in my case, it's just showing me this because I have a lot of configuration. I already did it. So I have like this, I clean it up a little bit. So what you will need to do is just copy all of this, just copy and on the terminal, just, you know, go down and you just need to paste it just like that. Of course, I've already have it. I don't really need to paste it. So I'm going to just pretty much delete everything. Sorry for that. And, you know, I didn't want it to paste. So let me just exit without uh, saving, you know. All right, I'm going to go again there. Now, after you paste it at the bottom, it says uh, click on exit. So you will need to do control X and it's uh, X and it's going to ask you if you want to save it, right? You just save it and you press enter and you're going to get back here. Now, what this is going to do is going to add all of these rules to your path. Now, uh, uh, the uh, Android needs to use the terminal and the paths in your computer to run the simulation from the VS code. Remember that this, uh, this application, this VS, the uh, VS code and the Android studio are not related. So when we do right here, run native uh, react native run Android, this will run some commands and it needs to connect with the simulation we have right here in our computer. So if you don't uh, complete 
this step, nothing is going to run in your simulator, in your emulator. So how can you check that you know this it's installed? Ah, so let's uh, you know let's uh, give it go right here. After you do you edit the bash profile, and of course all of this is in Mac. Uh, on the next video, I'm going to show you how to do this on Windows. I'm going to close the terminal and I'm going to open a new terminal. All right, let me just make sure I close it. I'm going to open a new terminal. Now what you need to do, you need to type echo dollar sign and path. This is going to give you some strings. If you never installed this, never did this in your computer, uh, you're not going to get the library Android SDK. You're just going to get user spin. This is the only thing you're going to get. So if you install this, you added this to your branch profile correctly, you're going to get all of this crap. Yeah. So if you get this, you're good to go, man. So you're ready. The next thing is going to be running the uh, Android emulation. Now I'm going to do it right now so we can test the emulator on Mac, but on the next section, I'm going to go to windows and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show you how to edit the uh, environment variables, which is pretty much the same thing than this, but for windows, if you already know how to add things to your environment variables, if you go to the documentation, go all the way to the bottom and right here, it tells you the, uh, you know, the, the step three, which is adding everything you need to add to your path right here, Android home. And then you're going to need to add platform tools. So these are the steps for windows. And then we can run the simulation. Now I'm going to do it right now. And then I'm going to go to the next uh, video and show you how to do this on windows. If you don't know how to work with your environment variables. So I'm going to run my native application on Android. So react native, you should do the same thing and then run and then Android. Once this is done, I'm going to press enter. And of course I made a mistake because I am on the parent directory. If I do LS notice I am on the parent. So I'm going to do CD our native zero one, and I'm going to do clear and then react native and then run Android. All right. This is what we need to do. I'm going to press enter. And again, depends on your computer. It will open a new terminal. And it's going to do uh, pretty much everything right here. It will configure your application, do the build. And uh, like I told before, if you have a slow computer, this might take six or eight or seven minutes, depends on your computer. This one is really fast. It's going to take maybe uh, two minutes. So let's, uh, I'm going to wait until this is done. And okay. Once it's done, it's going to start building things in your, of course, your dependency, it's building your application. And if you go to the Android studio, you're going to get, I'm sorry, the emulator, you're going to see loading and there we go. You get the app. So we spend like a day installing things just to get things running on the simulator. And you know, that's, that's, uh, that's what we need to do. That's, that's what we got to do comes with the, with the job. Now, uh, let me tell you after you install everything and you, you're able to run the uh, simulation on the, uh, emulator you're pretty much done. Everything else, uh, it's just easy to do. We can go to the app, the chase .js. You can get a bunch of things. Don't worry. We're going to get rid of that. And welcome to react native. I'm going to do this. I'm going to save it. And if we reload it, we get the changes. So it's, you know, that's it. This is the last thing we need to do. The pain it's over on the next section. Of course, I'm going to show you how to do the environment variables and how to run the iOS simulator. If you're on a Mac, which is really, really simple. We don't need to do pretty much, pretty much. We, we don't need to do anything. And, uh, and then we can start with, you know, the actual react native, we can start learning all of this. So let's go to the next one. If you're a windows user, I'm going to show you the environment variables. If not, just move on to the other one, which is using the Xcode emulator.